Well, I had to try one. So this is what I've been shooting for a few years now. 10 point Viper S400. Really like it. I'm saying it shoots probably 300, the way, the way I've got it set up, probably 360 feet per second. So, I wanna try this one. The Raven R500. This will be my first time shooting it. So, we'll see what happens. They've been out for a while now. But if it outshoots this one, I'll be surprised. Because this thing is extremely accurate. Got a target set up at 20 yards. And we're gonna try to get it dialed in. The scope doesn't even have a 20 yard pin, so it starts off at 30. I guess it's that fast. About to find out. Here we go. Right. Put the bolt in. See what happens. You said you should hear a click. I didn't hear any click. Well, I don't like that. I wonder if it's missing something. This is my first time putting a bolt in it. Let's see here, let me show you. So the arrow rests on these two little, look like ball bearings right there. Well, what the heck? Surely that's not supposed to just bounce around in there. Okay, so this is not a review, but I don't like that. I do like this. <laughs> Look at how close those are. It's like four inches or something, axle to axle. That's pretty, pretty neat. All right, let's go back. Okay, never even got the first shot in, have a problem. I have no trigger, like, feels like the trigger's already pulled. I guess I need to get out the book, try to figure out what's going on. Not cool. All right, after five minutes messing with the trigger, I got it to fire. Didn't get it on video. So, did stick in the deer target. I can't budge it. So I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna get it out, but let's try to recock it and shoot again, see what happens. Okay, I think I was fairly close, so I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments. Okay, second shot. Not sure on the first one because it kind of surprised me a little. Hit the tape. See if I can get that arrow out. It does bury them. I want to shoot the 10 point next to it and see how far they go in. It definitely buries them. 
That one I couldn't get out. I don't know if I can get this one out or not. Ooh. Well, they're now part of the deer target. I'm going to shoot the 10 point like right here. Just for a comparison. I'm pretty sure that I shot it the other day. And it was like super easy. Now, I did sight in the 10 point with broadheads, so bear with me if it misses. All right, I'm gonna try to stick it right in between the two. Money. <laughs> Holy moly, that's, uh, that's a pretty big difference. That's the difference between nothing sticking out, between the Raven and the 10 point. Shut my Luminoc off. Let's see if I can get that out. Oh yeah. That slid right out, no problem. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get these other two out. I feel like I'm gonna have a broken arrow here in a minute. Try this bottom one first. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Can't budge it. kidding you. I'm gonna have to move it out to 100 yards just so I can get the arrows out. That is insane how hard those stick. Okay, got them out. Shoot again. Okay, going for the third shot. Put it out a little further. We're at 42 yards. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. This is one of the arrows I just pulled out. It shot so fast and so hard into it. I think it melted it. Let me grab one that hadn't been shot. Here's one that has not been shot. That is crazy. No wonder I couldn't get it out of there. I think it melted to the target. That's one shot. All right. 42 yards. Let's see where we're at. Good night. That thing is ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go see how that one's stuck. I'm gonna bring a board with me this time. I'm only shooting one at a time so I can get them out easier. Well, 42 yards, it still buried it. All right, I gotta try to get this one out. Brought a board out here with me. 
Let's see if I can't. Don't break. Ooh. I think that's what it's doing. It's melting in. With a 10 point, I can almost pull them out with one hand, no problem. That is insane all right i'm going out another maybe 30 yards or so try to go to about i guess i'll go to 60. Right. so far shot it four times i've got mixed feelings this is a pain in the you know what but man, when you pull that trigger, that thing is, it's there. Good night. Seems like you should probably oil that or something. All right, we're at 62 yards now. Let me try to get you adjusted here. That's impressive. That thing gets there so fast. 62 yards. Still bearing it. Further than the 10 point at 20. Ah, I'm in shock. All right, I gotta try to get this out. Target shoot with. No fun to get the arrows out. Oh man. Ah. That's gonna get old fast. I'm beginning to have like a love hate relationship with this thing. I hate it until I pull the trigger. Okay. 95 yards. That board right there is at, I think that was at 60. You can see that board in front of it. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot one out of that at 95, one out of the, 10.95 see what the difference is that did not hit the target that one could be tricky to find Well, that sucks. Huh. Okay, 95 yards again, but I moved the scope from 500 feet per second over to 550. I think that'll make it shoot a little bit higher. If not, I'm gonna be chasing two arrows. That hit target, but still very low. Good girl. I rearrange that. Nice 
95.3. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the 10 point loaded up. Show you a 100 yard shot or the 95 yard shot with it. But I think that hit really low. Okay, got the 10 point loaded up. Stream close up. Ten points loaded up. Let's see what a 95 yard shot looks like out of it. <laughs> now I've got to find two arrows. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, this is the shot that did hit at 100, well, 95 yards with the Raven. It hit a little low, but I'm telling you, there's still a lot of meat right there. So, that's going to be fun. Now I got to go try to find some arrows. Okay, to sum this up, uh, I'm, did really well out to 60. I missed with this and the 10 point at 95, but I need to go get broadheads because I had the 10 point inside it in with broadheads on it. So I need to go get broadheads and put on this. I lost two arrows. That's $60 worth of arrows. Man, these things are expensive. I do have Illuminoc on the one I shot. So maybe tonight, if it lasts that long, in about seven hours, it'll be dark. I can come look for it then. But... I have no idea. You think you could see him laying in a bean field that's been cut, but you can't. So I need to go get broadheads and shoot this again. I'm not, not real happy with it right now. I don't think it's going to hit a hundred. L95. But shoots hard i think i am going to take a hunt tonight because at 100 well 95 yards it sunk an arrow deeper than the 10 point at 20. that's impressive all right gotta go get some broadheads i guess i'll catch you on the next one <laughs>